What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. A smart plug from a wise company? You probably know the Wise Cam family of products because I've had a bunch of them here, but they're kind of rolling out a handful of other products. And this Wise Plug is their first foray into smart plugs. And I really love the smart plugs, and I actually really like my Wise cameras. And so it's kind of nice. Oh, I backed Wise Plug. I did order these a while ago and they came quickly and then I just never did anything about uh, getting them set up. But they're, they can be really, really useful and mine have been really useful. But the reason I went ahead and got a set of Wise plugs is because the more that can be done within a single app, to me, makes it more likely that I'll use it. So I have a variety of smart plugs and unfortunately many of them have their own proprietary app and that's not a knock on them, but it just means I've got multiple apps. And sometimes if I'm trying to turn on, say a Christmas tree or turn off a deck light, you know, the fact that I don't know which app to go into makes it a little tough. And so if I have them all in a single place, like a single wise app, then that makes it that much nicer. Now I will say these are not bigger than other smart plugs I've seen, but they have this rectangular shape. A lot of them are round. And so you have a grounded three-prong outlet here. You can see the stats. Uh, it'll just be like a regular 120 volt white plastic here. Oh, I don't know, about an inch and an eighth, you know, square on this side, rounded corners. And then you have the uh, reflective plug right there. It says Wise and it looks like we have a little LED light there. There's a little button on the side here that is usually used for pairing it and setting it up as well as manually turning it on and off. So you can usually just control this through the app, but then if someone doesn't have the app and they're trying to turn on the Christmas tree lights, they can just walk up to it and tap that and then that'll do it. And that will be reflected in the status of the app. Now, one of the things that I really wanted to know when we set this up is not only do they work and power on and off, but can I put them on a schedule like you would with an old school uh, light timer, right? Because there's a lot of things. Maybe you want to fire up a space heater in the morning. Uh, maybe you want to turn off the Christmas tree lights at midnight, whatever it is. Uh, maybe these will hopefully allow me to do that. That's really what I'm hoping. So let's get this thing set up. All right, so I have an extension cord here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the smart plug, the Wise Camera smart plug. I've got the Wise app already set up there and we've got the flashing blue light, which I think is all we need to get started. So I'm gonna hit the three little dots up here and add a product. And then it is gonna be the Wise plug right down here at the bottom. And if you're not blinking, you just hold this button down uh, and that will get that light blinking. So I've got my network already set up. And now I'm going to connect, looks like to the Wi-Fi network that the plug is putting out, which you can see is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that. And so now I'm connected to that and I'm gonna go back to the app. And it says it is trying to connect and didn't need the full countdown, it found it. So I'm gonna call this one Attic, Attic. Set up successful. All right, so I'm gonna finish here. And now I have a smart plug called Attic. Now I have an LED light bulb right here and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the outlet just like this. There we go. All right, so I've got the outlet connected to the light bulb and I'm gonna go ahead and hit, it says off right there. So I'm gonna hit tap it and look at that. The light bulb comes on and I bet if I tap the on button to go off, it's gonna go off and on and off, pretty awesome. And like I said, if you've got it hooked up to something and someone doesn't have the app, if you tap this button, it'll go on and then it should be reflected in the app there as well, which is really nice. But I may have to refresh it. See, there it says on and now it's off. So now one of the most important things, especially to me is can we go into it and look at the details and do specific things? And it looks like we can. Not only uh, will we have some uh, status here, kind of metrics to report, but it looks like we can set up a timer so that you can have some things automated, have a turn off. Maybe you're doing a party or something you don't want to forget. You can go into a vacation mode here, which looks like it will just kind of randomly turn it on and off. And then up here, this little gear, it looks like what I can do is turn off the status light even, which is kind of nice if you don't want any ambient lights. But I can also go here to schedules and automation and I can create rules. 
um, which is kind of nice because then I think you can use Siri, voice control, Alexa, those types of things. But then you can also go ahead and turn on next at a certain time. And again, like I said, if you're using this for a little space heater, your TV, a lamp, whatever, you know, set whatever time you want and like 9.30 a.m. and repeat every day, select the different days, um, and it looks like we can add an end time. And then uh, turn it off at, uh, say, 9.24 p.m. So if we do that, now we have a little schedule for when this little bad boy comes on and off, and we'll have, is it right there? Goes on at 9.24 a.m. and runs till 9.24 p.m. Pretty cool. Hey, I really like this. If you wanna pick up this um, smart plug from Wisecam, have all your devices in a single place, cameras, motion sensors, detectors, whatever, I think it's gonna be super convenient and they're really inexpensive. That's kind of their other little niche is that they build a really quality product for not a lot of money. I will put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.